Hello everyone, I hope that you're all doing well today by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Annie Reine and uh, today on Saturday, March uh, 2021, I would like uh, to take this moment just uh, to share the word of God with you. And today the Lord has put something very amazing in my heart about you know the meaning the true meaning of the word happiness the true meaning of the word contentment you know sometime when you are favored by God when you are truly blessed by God this unfortunately can cause you to be in a place of pressure that can cause mortals, you know, to envy you, to try to do everything through their strength to kind of destroy you. Only because the Lord has decided to make you happy. Only because the Lord has decided to favor you, to bless you. And sometimes, if you are not careful, if you are a person that does not understand, you know, how to deal with all the stuff that may be happening in your life, you won't be able to enjoy the happiness that the Lord has granted you with, the happiness that the Lord has gave you. Because you are too focused, you could be too focused on what the mortals are doing or their perception of you or because of the challenges that you may be facing in the place, uh, in the flesh, sorry. This unfortunately might stop you to receive and enjoy the blessing the feather, the happiness that the Lord may have spoken upon your life. Beloved, you must understand, the happiness and the feather of the Lord will come with adversity. Because basically, when God bless you, when God feathered you, what he's trying to do actually, he has made a statement. What he has done, actually, he has separated you. It's like finding yourself in a big family with, you know, a father that has decided amongst all his children to put his attention or his feather upon a specific child. And automatically, his action will cause all the children to be jealous of the one that he has favored. All the children to feel some ways, you know, against or to war that child that has been favored. But you must understand that regardless of people's perception, regardless of people's opinion when God favored you when God bless you that blessing cannot be taken away that favor cannot be taken away when God grants you with happiness you must receive it regardless of you know the challenges that you may be facing regardless of the environment because you must understand that Amongst all his children, what God has done, he has picked one person. What God has done, he has looked at you and said, I want to bless you. I want to show you my feather. I want to show you how I love you. So you need to embrace the love of God, regardless of the perception of men. You need to be able to differentiate 
the mind of people from the mind of God. You need to be able to step out from what your eyes may be able to see, you know, in the physical world. And to be able to reach out, to stand in a place where God wants you to stand. You need to be able to accept and receive the happiness, the favor, the blessing that the Lord has given you, regardless of your environment. Because you must understand that when God favored you like he favored Joseph, your brothers, people around you, your peers, those that you may be calling your mates, they won't be happy about it. They will be questioning you. What is it so special about you? What did you do to deserve that kind of happiness? What did you do to deserve that kind of favor? Why God has picked you? And these kind of questions will cause them to despise you will cause them to reject you, will cause them to insult you, will cause them to push you away, will cause them to try everything to destroy you. But regardless of their action, because, you know, the most high God, because the Father is on your side, everything that they might do against you will fail. Therefore, yourself, you shouldn't be sorry for yourself. You shouldn't allow your feelings to be dictated by what people think. You shouldn't allow your feelings to be dictated by your environment. But rather, what you have to do, you need to embrace the love of God. You need to embrace the favor of God. You need to walk Toward the plan of God. You need to be the person that think as your master thinks. You need as well to create a room to forgive. Because this is very important. To understand the way people feel. It doesn't mean that you know you, uh, you are agree with that kind of actions, but to understand it and to be able to rise above it, to be able to say, okay, that's fine, but what I will do, I will embrace the plan of, of my God. I will walk according to the mind of my God. I will receive the blessings, the favor, and everything single thing that he has planned upon my life. Beloved, do not allow other people to dictate your life. Do not allow other people's feelings to manipulate you. Do not allow, you know, other people's opinion to become, you know, the master of your life. You need to walk according to the will of your father. When you are favored by God, this will cause you to have many enemies. You need to understand it. Because if you don't understand it, you could be blessed. You could be favored. But still be sad. You could be blessed and favored. But still live in a place of sorrow. Why? Because you have allowed people critics. You have allowed other people feelings to dominate over you instead of focusing on what your maker said about your life you need to understand beloved that when you are favored you will have challenges when you are favored it doesn't mean that god will make things easier for you this means that God will be on your side and he will allow you to overcome, you know, any challenges that you may be facing. He will allow you to prevail. He will allow you, you know, to be in a place of superiority. He will allow you, no matter what people said, 
to be the best of yourself. Therefore, you need to stop acting or be controlled by what people think or how people perceive you. But you need to focus rather on how your father, how God think about you. You need to be able to um, embrace all the blessings, the favor, every single thing that the Lord has put aside, the Lord has put in store, the Lord has spoken about, upon your life. You need to be able to receive it regardless of people mood be love because you will be the kind of people that are blessed people that have been favored but still because of your environment because of your mates because of all this mortal's perception you are not able to step into you know that blessing you are not able to step to receive that favor you need to understand, beloved. This is the word that I have for you this morning. You need to understand that when you are favored, when you are blessed by God, when the Lord visits you, this will cause people around you, mortals, to be jealous, jealous of you, to not to be happy. This will cause the enemy, the devil, to be jealous of you. To not to be happy. And regardless of people mood. Regardless of people perception. You need to walk toward the plan of God. You need to um, embrace whatever words. Whatever things that the Lord has said upon your life. You need to receive it. Amen. Amen. 